All right, hello everyone. Wow, my eye looks like I got beat up or something. Weird. Um, so you can see the uh, uh, if I turn, there's the phone box. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to go through and talk to you guys about the whole home networking series, and you guys actually didn't see one part of it. So I'm kind of gonna. Oh, I can't cover that. Uh, but I'm gonna walk you guys through um, the essentially what I've done and uh, I kind of go through and tell you guys a few stories about that. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> All right, so it starts in here, um, where uh, back here you guys can see the uh, the switch uh, that the unboxing went up. I think like three or four days ago. Um, so that is in my room. So that's awesome, and that cable goes all the way up and around, and I'm blocking the camera because I'm stupid. Okay, so that goes all the way up and around. Um, always have a fire extinguisher. I don't care who you are. Have a ABC fire extinguisher. The cheapest that I found was from uh, Kitta, so there's that. Um, but uh, I think I did a unboxing of these little clips and that's not gonna focus. That is, there we go. Um, so, I ended up getting uh, Velcro straps because um, they were easier to drive in and they could obviously come apart so that I can easily add more cables, which you will see in a moment why that's a good thing. So, out here is a Netgear router. The, uh, what is this, the, the third? router I think I put up um, so the first one that was in the video that you guys never saw was a Netgear sorry a Cisco Linksys EA 6400 um, that didn't end up working I down I downgraded to the 6300 and that wouldn't allow me to connect to the outside world for what's in there um, so I had to get this, and now it's all working. You can actually see I have all of the ports filled, and that's awesome. Um, have the, it's an old, essentially it's just to cover the uh, bracket where, um, not that one, but another one uh, went, and so yeah, that's also new, a uh, new fire, uh, fire alarm. And in here is where everything, all the magic is. So you guys can probably hear it. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on the light and get this out of the way. But yeah, this is the new Dell PowerEdge, uh, um, yeah, the R710. So her name's Betty and she is currently running uh, my site, your guys' site and I'm currently working on getting the uh, blog up as well. And, well, the blog and the company site are both back up um, and working, and the, uh, the forums. I'm transferring to a new forum company, so you can even see that uh, it's indicating that there is status going on. I do need to create a backup of her um, somewhere. I'm not sure where, but... Uh, she's commonly, uh, let's actually see her temperature, so let's uh, name, number, power, temperature, there we go. So she is at 23 degrees Celsius. So if we look at her power, she's only drawing uh, 123 watts, which is great. Um, so yeah, there's, that's Betty. Um, click that off. So actually, um, let's show you more of the cable management. Uh, so this is one of the reasons that I couldn't have, uh, oh wow, um, 
then I couldn't have the uh, those cable patches up here because I had so many cables. And originally I only had two going to Betty, but I upgraded to three so that she had a faster link. It's still only one gigabit, but you know. And then here we have the one that's going all the way back into the, uh, uh, you can see me kind of pulling and pushing on it, uh, but that's going into the uh, router. And then you have the two for Betty that I've already patched, and then this one that I had to uh, rerun. Plus then the uh, power supply for the router that goes down into there, which is the, uh, that is the power, uh, it's, it's not actually a surge protector, which I wish I had a surge protector there, um, so that if Betty went down, I was at least safe from that. Um, but, yep. <sighs> That's that, and there's that bracket that I was telling you guys about earlier. So, let's go ahead and click that off, and it's pitch black, lots of noise, and uh, just gonna lock that back up, and then we are gonna go into here. Yeah, I'm actually using uh, my grandfather's power cable for his computer, so sadly, I can't, uh, he can't use his computer right now. So, in here, uh, you'll notice that the Apple uh, router is no longer there. So let me actually turn... Oh, wow, that made a lot of difference. Okay, so the Apple router is gone. So that's this is all clean. And then that is just all a bunch of cables, essentially. Um, you have your telephone cable that's going up to that patch, which um, is for all of the phone line and stuff. Uh, but yeah, then that comes in, and then this is the phone modem, and then that's the, uh, internet modem. Uh, running at toasty, you know, temperatures is normal. Um, but there's that black, uh, Ethernet cable that comes, that goes out, then, like I was showing, and then comes into the internet modem. Now, I have been thinking about hanging another one, as I explained in a former video, um, there's the fan right there, but I haven't gotten around to it because I didn't get Victor, so I don't have my, uh, I need a battery, or not battery, um, but a USB, um, patch, so, and I don't have that, so I'm thinking about actually upgrading to a, what was that, a 10 port, I think, uh, USB switch, so, yeah. So this journey has been a long one, and I believe that this is kind of the end of a whole home networking project. Um, there's a few little things that I believe will be attended to in other videos, um, such as uh, Betty and me programming her and stuff. I've actually, again, already got ahead of myself and programmed her and stuff, so yeah, um, there isn't much more to uh, talk about actually. Um, cue the, uh, cue the interest of the, uh, poster back there. Um, but I will be starting, um, possibly later this year, um, in 2016, just in case that people are watching this in the future. Um, in 2016, I will be, um, recording a new video and I will also be uploading it to a new channel. Um, that channel is going to just be for the Infinity Project. I'm going to do projects exclusively for the Infinity Project. Again, I'm not going to leave you guys behind. I'm not going to split up my tech content and my gaming content. I hate split channels. Um, I like both tech and gaming, so I'm going to continue to do tech and gaming. Um, but uh, right now you guys can access my website um, either from wolfboytech.org or wolfboytech.tk. Um, I will have that linked down below, and it's gonna end up probably being, uh, just .tk in the end. Um, simply because it's a lot cheaper to have a .tk domain, because in case you didn't know, they are free. Um, they don't give you as many options as far as DNS goes, but it's amazing because they're free. Um, 
Uh, so if you want to find uh, more information about .tk domains, and then there's like two or three other domains that they have, um, head over to freenom.com. Not freedom, but free nom. Like you're nomming something. I suppose with that out of the way, the next thing to talk about is my sponsor for this video. And that sponsor for this video would be Namecheap. So I've always been touting and talking about, uh, wow, this video is going to be really noisy. I am so sorry, guys. Um, but I'm always talking uh, about uh, one in one and stuff. So one in one was great, but they always did up sales. And I hated that because that's all they cared about was the bottom number. They didn't care about you as a customer. So what Namecheap does is they have no frills, no nothing. It's service, service, service. They don't care about upsells. They don't care about any of that. You get what you ask for and nothing more. That is what I've wanted forever. <laughs> I mean, they don't have ads on their site that says, oh, hey, just pay this much for upgrading. You know going into it that it's going to cost that much. So head over using a link in the description or on my blog page uh, on the help us out help us grow page um, you can do that uh, the link is down in the description below so without without further ado I do want to thank everyone for watching who stayed through this whole series thank you for uh, staying through the series and I'm very sorry for shaky cam I'm not using my uh, my handle that I don't even know where it is so i want to thank everyone again for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye yeah.